When you think about big four pay-per-views at WWE, shows like a Survivor Series, you think about big matches and big moments, and you think about those special attractions that you just don't get all the time. So apparently somebody in WWE has thought about it, and they feel like they've come up with a special attraction for this year's Survivor Series. Gee, I wonder who that could be. Give it to them whether they want it or not. So let me get this straight. The special attraction that we're going for at Survivor Series is taking your roided up, no mic skill having, lame ring working, boring ass world champion and having him face off against Jinder Mahal. Oh my God. Brock Lesnar versus Jinder Mahal at Survivor Series. Has it gotten that bad? Have we stooped to that low of a level that we are now classifying Jinder Mahal wrestling somebody as a world champion as a special attraction match? Furthermore, are we that desperate to get Brock Lesnar to WrestleMania as the champion so we could drop it to freaking Roman Reigns that we have to create stopgap crap like this for Brock Lesnar to face Jinder Mahal. The modern day attendance vacuum going against modern day Garbasha. And that's exactly what the hell this is. Brock Lesnar versus Jinder Mahal. You know, you hear sometimes with these big special attraction matches, you hear once in a lifetime, or you hear something like a match you thought you'd never, ever see. Well, when it comes to Brock Lesnar versus Jinder Mahal, champion versus champion, this would truly fit into that category of a match we thought we would never, ever see because we never thought we would get to the point, A, where a freaking Jinder Mahal goes from being Rusev's jobber bitch after a run and being gone for a while where he was a member of the jobber faction 3MB to where now he is a long-reigning WWE champion on SmackDown to he's facing Brock Lesnar, your former NCAA, multiple-time WWF slash E, uh, world champion, whatever the hell, former UFC heavyweight champion, all of that. This is the depths that we've gotten to now. Is Brock Lesnar versus Jinder Mahal is being billed as a special attraction. These guys aren't even drawing people to the arenas on their own shows. Now we think smashing them together in a freaking hastily thrown together program is going to captivate the people, put asses in the seats, put eyeballs on the network. Who thinks this crap is a good idea? Like, what do you hope to gain out of this? You can't have anybody win clean because when you do this, you automatically make one of your world champions look really stupid. Furthermore, you know you're not going to have Jinder win clean because you're not having him win clean ever because, again, this company can't help but love their cookie cutter chicken shit heels. So even having the Singh brothers interfere, that looks stupid. So you're not going to have Jinder go over Brock. And then ultimately, if you have Brock go over the WWE champion, it doesn't do anything for Brock, especially if it's a competitive match. If anything, it only makes Brock look stupid and looks weak. Whereas now you've buried the WWE champion, Jinder Mahal, because he couldn't beat the Universal champion. It's just stupid. Like, even the thought of this, the rumor of this, the potential of this is just unbelievable to me. We have gotten so bad to now we're trying to artificially create opponents for Lester because the fact is there really aren't any left. Which again ties into the whole argument of there's no reason to re-sign Brock Lesnar after next year's mania because you're going to continue to get a diminishing return. And if you're paying him all this money to wrestle in front of half-empty arenas and to a decreasing television audience, why are you paying this guy this much money? And then for a Jinder Mahal, are we that desperate to get him all the way to a WrestleMania where he could drop the belt in some type of squash job fashion? 
that we got to sit there and put him in a non-title type of situation against somebody like a Brock Lesnar with the hope that this is going to elevate gender to a whole different level, that you are going to appeal to 1.3 billion people in India who newsflash, many of them do not have the best economic situation. And honestly, if gender was that big of a deal and that big of a draw, in a country of 1.3 billion people, you would have hoped several million of them would have subscribed to the WWE Network. And oh, ding dong, dumb dicks, they haven't. Ah, this is so dumb. This is so stupid. The only redeeming quality about this is come Survivor Series, I will be able to laugh the entire time this match is happening at the mere thought of somebody in WWE, notably Vince McMahon, thinking that this is a good idea, that this is a special attraction, that this is something that is going to interest or captivate people. Who's booking this crap? Who's coming up with these ideas? And if this doesn't speak to the major problems that WWE has in terms of their inability over the years and their lack of desire over the years to create new stars, I don't know what does. You're potentially looking at wasting a Brock Lesnar pay-per-view spot against Jinder freaking Mahal. And at this point in time, I don't see what difference it makes. You're looking at wasting a big four pay-per-view match for Jinder Mahal on freaking Brock Lesnar. If there was ever a special attraction, you never thought you'd see this match type of thing where you knew that you would be okay with taking one gigantic dump during it. It is this match. If this is the type of crap we're going to get served for Survivor Series, whew, we're going to be in for a very, very long evening. The Sandwich Salesman versus the Modern Day Garbasha. Oh, that's going to put a lot of asses in seats.